I recall the times when a 12-minute YouTube video was one of the most exciting parts of my day. Now, amidst the endless sea of fast, satisfying videos in TikTok format, our attention span seems to vanish into thin air. Imagine being in a room with just your phone and a book. Instinctively, you'd likely reach for your phone. It's more captivating and comforting for your brain. But if you try to push yourself to pick up the book, it might feel awkward, especially if you're used to reading regularly. This pull toward the phone rather than the book is because the phone offers instant pleasure. We've grown accustomed to seeking that quick fix, largely due to the irresistible allure of social media. Juvenal wrote 2,000 years ago, give them bread and circuses and they will never revolt. In today's world, it's more like, give them social media and video games and they will never strive for improvement. Short form content isn't about providing us with value. It's designed to give us a quick dopamine hit, making our minds totally overstimulated. It feels like we've hit the ultimate peak of stimulation. Yet, here we are, wired to constantly crave the next big thrill. How many hours do you sincerely spend on social media per week on average? Share your insights in the comments below. I will randomly pick one of you that has subscribed and liked this video to win the guide on how to start making $300 per day that is in the description. Good luck. So, what's the solution? It's about lowering your stimulation baseline. We need to embrace the seemingly mundane tasks that offer less immediate gratification. To truly succeed, we've got to say no to constant distractions and yes to the less flashy, more meaningful activities. The absence of constant stimulation provides a space for our minds to pause, allowing us to think clearly and access novel ideas more naturally. Conversely, the incessant need for stimulation can lead us to remain in a state of comfortable numbness, where personal growth feels unnecessary because life seems good enough as it is. When we meditate, it's like hitting the mental gym, doing bicep curls for our attention span. Just as meditation helps, this video aims to boost your focus, so don't multitask. Full screen it, tune out distractions, and give me your full attention. The value of deep work is soaring in today's economy. Those who make it a priority and integrate it into their work routine are poised to thrive amidst the competition. According to the author of the bestseller Deep Work, Cal Newport, even a brief interruption like checking email for just 30 seconds can derail your workflow for a staggering 30 minutes afterward. Remember, fun is relative. What's boring to one person might be totally exciting to another. I learned this firsthand when I made a big change in my life. I ditched social media and dove headfirst into reading nonfiction books, writing, walking, and learning a new language. And you know what? After just a few days, I found myself eagerly anticipating these more productive pursuits over mindless scrolling. With focus, you uncover new layers, enjoying the progress. Your task becomes thrilling, waiting for you to conquer it. It's just you and your work in a quiet room. No buzzing phone, no distractions. I recommend you boosting your focus by listening to binaural beats at 40 hertz. Studies show they increase dopamine and acetylcholine levels, enhancing concentration. Play them during your work session or listen for a quick five minute warm up before diving in, like stretching before a workout. Now let's explore effective methods that can improve your focus and attention span. Number one, meditation. Spend a few minutes each morning sitting comfortably in a distraction free space, simply focusing on your breath. It's a powerful exercise that can sharpen our attention spans and make us more focused individuals. Let's put it to the test now. For the next 30 seconds, Seconds, tune out everything else and concentrate solely on your breath. Ready? Go. During that brief meditation exercise, you likely experienced a shift in your awareness. By focusing solely on your breath, you may have noticed your mind gradually calming down with distractions fading into the background. Now, take a moment to reflect. How challenging was it to maintain that focus? Every time you practice meditation, even for just a few minutes, you're strengthening your attention span like a muscle. Keep it up, and you'll find yourself becoming more adept at staying focused in various aspects of your life. Number two, stay present. Engaging in mindfulness activities can be a game changer for reducing stress and enhancing concentration. By staying present and redirecting your focus away from future worries or past events, you empower your brain to concentrate fully on the task at hand. These Activities encompass various practices, such as jotting down a gratitude list, dedicating your attention to one task at a time instead of juggling multiple tasks, and immersing yourself in your environment. Whether you're taking a leisurely stroll, enjoying a meal, or tending to your garden, the essence of mindfulness 
lies in anchoring your mind to the present moment while sidestepping distractions. Number three, sleep routine. Prioritizing sleep is crucial for maintaining focus, whether in class or during tasks demanding sustained attention. Despite busy schedules, aim for at least six hours nightly, ideally seven to eight. Create a sleep conducive environment. Keep your bedroom quiet, dark, and at a comfortable temperature. Steer clear of late day caffeine and napping. Consistent sleep patterns with regular bed and wake times further enhance your ability to rest well. Number four, don't work constantly. Taking regular breaks is essential for maintaining mental stamina, especially when concentration is a challenge. These breaks prevent mental fatigue, allowing you to recharge and return to tasks with renewed vigor. Integrate short breaks into your daily schedule to ensure you don't overlook them. Even brief pauses of 10 or 15 minutes can be highly beneficial and easily accommodated in your routine. During these intervals, steer clear of thoughts about ongoing tasks or projects, focusing instead on relaxation and rejuvenation. Number five, organize important events. A planner or calendar is indispensable for keeping track of deadlines and due dates effectively. Instead of relying on memory, jot down important dates like tests, exams, and assignment due dates. Setting up reminders ensures you stay ahead of approaching deadlines. By maintaining a planner or calendar, you'll ensure you allocate a time for studying, preparing for exams, and completing assignments, note personal appointments, and other significant dates to manage your schedule efficiently. Number six, evaluate your social media habits. While checking social media intermittently may seem innocuous, even brief visits can impede focus on other tasks. Social media often becomes a significant distraction, consuming more time than anticipated. If you notice excessive social media use, consider scaling back. Disable notifications for social media platforms to minimize temptation. Allocate specific limited periods for browsing social media, ensuring it doesn't encroach on productive time. Number seven, use handwriting. In meetings or conferences, opt for pen and paper when taking notes. Studies from Princeton and UCLA reveal that handwritten notes foster active listening and better comprehension of key concepts. Laptops, conversely, invite distractions like email and social media, potentially leading to mindless typing. According to Pam Muller, co-author of the study, handwriting notes may encourage deeper processing, resulting in more selective and meaningful content inclusion. Number eight, identify your peak productivity hours. Discovering your optimal working time aligns with the concept of chronotypes, suggesting that individuals have specific periods when they're most productive. Leverage these hours to maximize your output. For instance, if you're an early bird, carve out uninterrupted time in the morning to establish a productive flow. Alternatively, if you're a night owl prone to late night inspiration, keep a notepad by your bedside to capture your brilliant ideas before sleep. Don't forget to write to the comments. How many hours do you normally spend on social media per week? If you want to get more improvement-minded videos, subscribe and turn on notifications on this channel. Check out this helpful self-improvement video, and I'll see you in the next video.